look at the political gridlock in France and what that means to the markets. French stocks fell as investors assessed risks from political gridlock following legislative elections that produced a divided parliament with no clear majority. The CSE 40 ended Monday's session 0.6% lower, reversing course after climbing as much as 0.9%. The French equity benchmark remains 4.5% lower since the snap election was announced on June 9th, having clawed back less than half of its losses. The stock's Europe 600 was little changed on Monday as gains across insurance and travel sectors were curbed by weakness in commodity stocks. The far-right national rally's inability to implement their intentions to privatize France's state TV and radio firms led to a rise in French media stocks. A senior European economist at Schroeder said, and I'm quoting, the result was a big shock. I don't really believe that the market has fully understood what the results mean. Then he added, it's still a very uncertain period going forward. The new popular front alliance, which includes the far left France Unbowed, won the biggest number of seats in Sunday's final round of voting, but fell well short of the 289 required for a parliamentary majority. Two Bloomberg intelligence strategists said that the bloc's fiscal expansion program is the most anti-market among the parties and could weigh on all companies with large labor exposures in France. The political gridlock may impact bankers who own a large amount of sovereign debt. Additionally, the left has floated the idea of increasing taxes on wealth, profits and share purchases as well as the statutory capital buffers and transaction taxes that banks are required to hold. Just on Monday, a day after elections, remember, their stock prices dropped as well. And to get us more perspective, we are being joined by Scott Lucas. He's a professor of international politics at Clinton Institute, University College, Dublin. Mr. Lucas, thank you so much for joining us here on Beyond. Good to see you. What do you think? Will the political uncertainty reach, the, reach France's economy? Certainly, we will see short-term uncertainty in the French economic system. I mean, that happens in any country where you have an inconclusive political result uh, and where you don't have an idea of the future leadership. What I think accentuates this in the French case is, is that we not only in what you're calling gridlock between three different factions, which is the governing faction of Emmanuel Macron, the hard right faction of uh, the national rally, and this broad left wing coalition it's that within the left-wing coalition, which got the largest share of seats in the assembly, yeah. there are actually four different parties. You go all the way from what you might call the center left, from the socialist and from the greens, all the way to the hard left of France Unbowed and the communist. Now, that's a wide range of economic policy that you're talking about. Obviously, the greens would want to pursue environmental measures and the center left would want to pursue an increase in welfare but it's the hard left that wants to go even further. And that's what's causing the uncertainty at this point. Absolutely. And speaking of that, we know that the Parliament of France currently looks extremely fragmented. We don't know who the prime minister will be. When it comes to consensus in Parliament, are you worried? At the end of the day, you know, governments keep everything going, even in the midst of uncertainty. Uh, Belgium. France's neighbor, uh, I think, went more than a year, possibly more than two years, without a government. And it was simply the agencies that continued to implement economic and social policy. Netherlands just had several months uh, without a government. After their latest elections, they finally established a coalition uh, within the past couple of weeks. So it's not uncommon, or at least not unprecedented, to have months without a clear ruling government in power, as long as you have caretaker agencies that function, and of course France does have a president, Emmanuel Macron stays in power, then I don't think you're going to see collapse. But what I do think you're going to have is an inability to plan for the medium to long term, while you don't have a clear idea of who the next government is. All right, Mr. Lucas, thank you so much for joining us here on Vion and getting us your insights. Thank you.
For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.